Yo, what's good, gang? This is Dope Guy, and I am back with another video, big dog. Hope you guys are all doing well out there, because I'm doing all right. Here I am, spinning a block with content for y'all, man, my soul. Yo, we have reached 10,000 subscribers on the platform. 10K is up. I appreciate all y'all for tapping in with me, enjoying my videos, leaving comments, likes, sharing, and even, most importantly, subscribing to my channel, man. I appreciate y'all so much, and it's only going to be up from here in 2024, man. Much love and respect to all my big dogs out there. For sure! But yeah, but today's video is the highest twins. This is called Woman Explains Why Women Cheat. This is going to be a goodie. This is going to be very entertaining. I already know from the highest twins point of view, it's going to be super hilarious. But it's going to be a turn off the lab challenge. As always, y'all enjoy when I do these. So I cannot wait to hop into this video and hear what they got to say. But before we do that, subscribe to the dope guy. That way to get notifications every time I upload. And from right here on Snapchat and Instagram, right across the bottom of the screen. So with that being said, I'm not going to hold y'all much longer. Because y'all already know this is going to be dog. Get yeah, to it. Yes, sir. Yeah, that show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. So this girl talking about cheating, right? She explains um what's okay and what's not okay with cheating. What? What? Yeah, if you're cheating, it's not okay. When is it ever okay? Well, this uh, we're talking. This is about to be entertaining. What's okay? What's not okay when it comes to cheating? What the hell is she talking about? Already, we're off to a wild start. I, yo, let's continue. Oh, one of these modern women here. She black? Look like a white girl. Maybe she got too many black friends. I don't know. Mine's been uh, compromised. Let's go to the video. Cheated plenty of times in my life, by the way. But I'm a reformed cheater. I've never, I would never do it again. So never again? Never again. Sometimes if it's going to be a one-off thing and you sleep with someone one time and then you'll never cheat again and like you don't ever talk to that person again. So it's a reform cheater. <laughs> it's not. It's a little that, bit different. That's acceptable? No, it's not acceptable, but like it's more understandable. I don't know. I kind of think everyone deserves a one-time cheat in their Everybody relationship or marriage. So um, it's safe to say you're going to cheat again. <laughs> She sounds not crazy as hell. She's yo. She sounds dumb as hell, bro. Not when I have a ring on it. What about engaged? You're just engaged. You're engaged for a year. That's a gray zone. Yeah, I know. So once it's marriage, it's done. Okay, and so, I know I used to so engaged. So if you're engaged. You're it's still it's still on the table for you. The the one time cheat. It's yeah. called the one time cheat. There's no emotions. It's like you never hear from that person again. Oh, yeah. I but when you're married, absolutely not. Got it. Unless you're 10 years into it. Oh, gosh. I mean, you're so many. So 10 many years into years. it? What? No, no, no. This is what I think. Okay. 10 years in. We're bored. Let's, like, either do a threesome or, like, let's have an open relationship or, you know. Well, it's a conversation with you and your husband. Yeah. Maybe he's down for it. Maybe he's not. What, well, if, what, if, he, what, what if he's not? Then we'll have to figure something out. But I won't cheat. I will not cheat. Okay. Maybe divorce. What? <laughs> Shit. Girl, you is ridiculous. For real. You said, what's you ain't ever getting married. <laughs> Shorty ain't ever getting married with the dumb shit she just said out of her mouth, bro. What? So you're going to cheat up until you get married. When you're married, you're not going to cheat. And then 10 years in, if you if anybody's willing to spice things up, you're not going to cheat. You'd rather get a divorce. Shorty, your ass will be lonely forever. You might as well just be out for the streets. You might as well be a little thought pocket. Live your best life. Don't even think. Don't even look at marriage, bro. Don't even look at that shit. You're crazy. If you're if you're soon to be season good, hell no. No, some guys into that though. Watching a girl get packed. Yeah, it's just um. You better dude, get your emotions going. Remember we did that wife? dude's. Uh, remember when it's like twenty, we did that dude's wife. Why you bring that up? <clears throat> no, they was been married for like thirty years. Let me tell you the story about it. Quick. Yo. Tell we was in our early 20s, right? And this dude, he was 50 years old, and 55, he was an attorney. Dude had some salt and pepper going balding. And uh, he wanted me and Kevin to do his wife, so we did him. Right? She was old, too. All done up. They probably dead by now. Damn. You say that? Been about 20, yeah, they probably in their 70s, 80s. No, I think that woman's in her 40s. Late 40s. Oh, they were in their fifties then. This has been twenty years ago. Like, I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty sure they're dead. We shouldn't say things like that. But anyway, he's stupid. What if they're still alive? Maybe they're big fans. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Look here. And we did them, right? We, we both did his we wife. We did them. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, Kev, I caught that shit too. Like, we did though. Hey, yo, pause. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that part had me. That part took me out. That. <laughs> this has been 20 years ago. I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Hell no. You shouldn't say things. But anyway, what if they still alive? <laughs> Maybe they'd be fine. <laughs> Look here, and we did him, right? We, we both did his we wife. We did him. We did his wife. We did him. And so this dude just sit back, watch me stroking, <laughs> busted nuts all over the place. And um, when we was leaving, he went up to his wife and he was kissing. She's like, "Oh, thank you, baby. That was that was amazing." And he's like, "I love you, baby." And she said, "I love you too." And he started kissing. I was like. You know what's crazy about that whole thing? That dude, he's about he's a short, fat little short white man. He had a mushroom tip big as a light bulb bottle. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I was not anticipating that. <laughs> well, he probably looked like he had a sense of that those Frankenstein scars on the side of it. Yeah, those scars. Yeah. They ain't Frankenstein. You know Frankenstein had them two knots on his head? Yeah, two knots. Yeah. Well, it's just scars. You just hit us. Whatever. Yeah, we. But no point because his cock was so big. <laughs> that dude was so big. He was like, oh my god, look at his cock. <laughs> his cock was so big, man. He couldn't even wrap his hand around. <laughs> he was just on the head. He was just stroking it like this. <laughs> I was like, what <laughs> in hell? Yeah, and she was loose in all outdoors. I couldn't even feel nothing. But anyway, I got my nut out. <laughs> I was <closing> my ass. <laughs> about my favorite scene. <laughs> Hell no. Hey man, Kim, let's talk about Rich you know, If I out. had to do that over again, I'd have went and asked. <laughs> I would I would have did it. I think he told me to do it and I chicken out. <laughs> you know what kept turning me off about the whole thing? I couldn't even really concentrate because he kept Walking in my damn, <laughs> he kept walking my damn peripheral. He kept coming in your peripheral. All you see is this. All you see is cock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, can you back up? <laughs> hey, Kelly, let me say something. The reason why I brought brought up that uh that uh no. that scenario, what happened with us, is because some couples are into that. And she brought up an interesting point. She said maybe ten years in a relationship. Yeah. You know, they she get bored. Get bored huh? Yep. They both get bored. But. That's my wife's boy. You think your wife's boy? Probably. You can think about it. You bored of her yet? <laughs> <laughs> she gets old after a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's not. Well, we got a, me and my wife got a great relationship. Yeah, I, I, I'm Sex not bored. Is good, man. Yeah, I'm not bored. Yeah, my wife trembling in the bed. Trembling, huh? Mm -hmm. Big and slow, man. The little things he counts. Not all that jamming and rot. <laughs> you take time, take your sweet time, right? You'd be surprised what you'll find. <laughs> Stumbling across that, just, just, just taking it easy. <laughs> so back in the day when you, you thought, you know, make love to a woman is trying to just just, just, just slam your nuts just, in her. Just jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> and then you wonder why women don't call you back. <laughs> Call back racist, you know? man, shut up, man. man he's stupid, dog. Like, like, different strokes for different folks, you know? He's like, I don't think she's ever go gonna get married. Hell no. If she does get married, it's gonna be with somebody with uh, that's like minded. Yeah. You know, like her. Open relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so. Did really last. Now, I can totally understand you go into a, a relationship, committed to one another, and then y'all sit down and talk about it. You really committed to one another. You know? I can see it working then. But you take a whore and then just a jiggle of this shit's not gonna work out. Then it's gonna get involved and people's egos come into play. You know? Yeah, it's kind of hard sitting back watching the wife just getting, well, just getting just, rotted. And then you know what hurts the most when she says she looks over at you. She's getting rotted. <laughs> Baby, I'm coming. <laughs> Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, we got a new uh, giveaway going. <laughs> we give away. Yo, they stupid, bro. But yo, their stories are hilarious, bro. Hilarious. He said when he said we did them, he like what? No, we did the that shit was that took me out. I laughed so hard. That shit was so funny. But back to Shorty, she's never gonna get married. Like I said, she needs to find someone who's like minded like her in order for that relationship to work or that marriage. You know what I'm saying? To get to marriage. But just out here, just doing you. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you're in a relationship, you're gonna stop doing you until you get married. So when you're engaged, you're gonna keep doing you. You're crazy, bro. You'll never be married unless you find someone like that. Or be, you know what I'm saying? Be in the lifestyle. That's all I can say. Be in the lifestyle. But if you're trying to have a monogamous relationship, you're crazy as hell. It ain't gonna work. It is what it is. You might as well either be for the streets or find someone like mine that will be in the lifestyle. Something like that. Something of that nature. It is what it is. But yo, God bless her. <laughs> God bless her. And shout out to High Twins, bro. Hilarious. And they storytelling is funny as hell. Yo, hope you enjoyed the reaction to this video. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Dope Guy Big Dog. Hit the notification bell whenever I upload. Find me right here on Snapchat and Instagram right across the bottom screen. And if the video you want me to check out, please comment under this video and my other videos. And leave likes and comments on all my videos. Help grow the channel to help the algorithm. For sure! Yo, like I said, we have reached 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate all my big dogs who've been supporting me from day one. Liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel, most importantly. Appreciate y'all, man. 2024 is going to be super lit. Y'all stay tuned for what I got in store for y'all, man, on my soul. But yeah, man, it's the Dope Guy, and I am out. Yes, sir.